Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're looking to grow your nails or you want healthy nails and you don't really know where to start, then this video is for you. This is how my nails currently look. And when I tell you guys, they did not always look like this. I used to be a nail biter. I've damaged my nails multiple times now. Other people have damaged my nails. It's really been a whole journey at this point. But basically, I'm gonna share with you guys the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So I hope this video helps you guys out and let's get right into it. First off, you need a good nail care routine. So it doesn't have to be this exact one, but try to find something that's easy and simple so that you can stick to it. So this is what I do about once a week or whenever I feel like my nails are getting a little crusty. I'll start by filing and shaping my nails. So when you do this, you don't want to use a 180 or 100 grit nail file. That's just going to be way too harsh on your natural nails. If your nails are weak and brittle, then you want to use a glass nail file. This is what they look like and they're going to be a lot more gentle on your nails. After filing my nails, I'm going to move on to my cuticles. I use the Blue Cross Cuticle Remover. I've been using this for years now. This is like my fourth bottle at this point. And then I'll also use some orange wood sticks. I get both of these from Amazon. And basically, I'm going to take some of that remover and then put it around my cuticle area and then just gently start pushing off that dead cuticle and that's all cuticle is it's just the dead skin that gets stuck onto your nail plate so you want to make sure that you're removing it you will find that removing cuticle will help products adhere to your nail and overall it just looks better sometimes if I have a hangnail or a stubborn piece of cuticle I will take my nail trimmers and just cut that off but please be very careful if you decide to do this this should not be a painful process where you're bleeding you should not be cutting into living skin so keep that in mind after that, I'm just gonna wash my hands and then I finish my nail routine by applying cuticle oil. And this is just to hydrate the skin around my nail. I'll also put a little bit underneath my nail. And when it comes to cuticle oil, I'm really not picky. I think they all pretty much work the same. I do like the pins just because they're convenient and you can easily throw it in a bag, but again, personal preference. When it comes to growing your nails, shape does matter. Now, I love, I love the square nails, but the corners on squares love to break, so if you're looking to grow your nails, I would go for more of a rounded shape, so almond, round, oval, anything like that where the sides are a little bit more protected from breaking. If you really, if you're like, I really just want the square nails, you can go for more of a squabble shape, so you can round the corners a little bit and that will also help you. Okay, 99.4% of the time I break a nail, I have nothing on them. I cannot tell you guys how important it is to keep something on your nails. When you have another layer on your natural nails, it's gonna act as a barrier, so if you hit it, or just whenever you're using your hands, they'll be less likely to break versus if there's nothing on them. So nail polish and gel polish are great options. If you're looking for something more durable, you could do dip powder, poly gel, or builder gel over your natural nails. You need to be gentle with your nails. A lot of times it's not even about growing them, it's about not breaking them and retaining that length. So don't use your nails as tools. If you have a box to open, use scissors or a key. If you're doing dishes, I'll use a brush. You could also use gloves over your nails. If you're opening a can, you could use a fork. A lot of changes like that make a huge difference. A lot of times it's not the product, but it's the application and removal of the product that's damaging your nails. So don't peel off your product, bite off acrylic, peel off your fake nails or use metal pushers to force the product off your nails because all you're doing in that process is also taking off some of your nail plate with it and it's just going to leave you with weak peeling nails that are more brittle and likely to break. I want to preface this by saying I am not a doctor. I am not qualified to tell you what you should or shouldn't be eating, but I can say that a balanced diet is very important. And if you are not getting the right amount of macro and micronutrients, then it can show up in ways like brittle nails. So typically that would be something like vitamin C deficiency. And you can find this in so many different foods, citrus fruits, berries, peppers, tomatoes, to name a few. And another vitamin that you may be needing is biotin. So a biotin deficiency is rare, but again, you can find this in so many different foods, sweet potatoes, eggs, liver, spinach, just to name a few. And drink more water. I am talking to myself too with this, but water is just gonna help everything. So I am not gonna recommend that you take anything, but I will recommend that you consult a registered dietitian to see if a vitamin C supplement or biotin supplement will benefit you. Another nail tip is to use a nail hardener or strengthener. So I've actually never used these personally, so I can't speak from experience, but I have heard really good things about OPI's Nail Envy, so that's an option. And I will link that down below for you guys. My last tip is to 
be patient. Your nails are going to grow. They grow about one eighth of an inch a month. So as long as you're taking care of them and you're not constantly breaking them, you will see the change. So I hope these tips helped you guys out. If you have your own, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.